Hey guys, Sergeant Base here, and today I'm going to be showing you future animators or source filmmakers, or whatever other kind of artists you guys are, how to paint hats and cosmetics in Source Filmmaker. That is a pretty uh, useful tool for any of you future animators because, just like in the game Team Fortress 2 with paint being a leading cool factor, it is in Source Filmmaker Creations. So, let's jump in and I'll uh, show you how. So the scout here, he's got the little drummer man outfit, and he's also got this neat little hat, the front runner. I'm thinking these hats can be painted and uh, give this scout a whole new cool factor. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's start off with the little drummer man suit. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to right click it, and scroll down to the Add Override Materials just underneath the Set Skin tab. I'm going to click on that, and that allows us to edit the colors. So I'm going to re-right click the same item the little drummer man and now I'm gonna go up to the show an element viewer and then down to model now I'm in the element viewer for this shirt little drummer man I'm gonna scroll down to materials this materials folder right here is actually added when you add the override materials so now I'm able to open this up and it shows me two options this is just like when you set a skin for red or blue this is the red version and then the blue version underneath it hence the underscore blue so, since our scout is blue, I'm going to open up the blue folder, and look at this. I've got cloak color tint and cloak color base. We're going to want to mess with the base, not the tint, because the tint isn't going to help us. The base will. So, I'm thinking we should give this scout some lime green to the suit. Yes, that's going to look pretty good. So, look at that. Look at his suit now. It's changing colors as I adjust the bar on here. As I change it all over, it changes the, the color of it on the scout. But since we want to give him a lime color, let's just scroll until we think it looks about right. And I think that looks about lemon lime enough to me. Yeah, looks pretty darn good. So, now that we have that out of the way, let's move, go move on to the headband. Headband's going to be the same thing. Go down to Override Materials. I'm going to add them. And I'm going to re-right click the headband. Go down to Show an Element Viewer and then to Model. Go down to the Materials folder. Open that up. And wow, look, this has three. One, two, three. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about this top one. Some hats have even more than that. It just depends on what it is. You don't have to worry about that at all. Just go to Scout Headband and Scout Headband Blue, because those are the two color folders. And since we have a blue scout, we're going to open up the blue and go down once again. Don't worry about the tint. Just click on the base. And let's give them some hot pink, because that's a somewhat popular paint I suppose and look at that now it is painted pink looks pretty snazzy right anyways guys this is, may seem a little simple you know don't need to spend a lot of time doing it it's really easy to just go through give the paints and cosmetics some color and it really can add an extra wow factor to any of your source filmmaker creations and art so until next time guys <coughs> <coughs> Keep creating those arts on Source Filmmakers and all those other kinds of fancy thingamabobs software stuff. And uh, most importantly, keep building those Team Fortress 2 skills that kills YOLO swag YOLO. Because until next time, this is Sergeant Bass, signing off.